Okay, and lots of politics about this. Look, documents today revealed the money paid to the Trudeau family for some speaking engagements at We Charity events, the cost for Bill Morneau's trips on those We Charity events, all these details and more in this new release of documents this morning from We Charity in response to questions from the Finance Committee for their study of the controversial now axed summer student grant program. Is there anything new in those documents? Also, the Trudeau government released Justin Trudeau's speaking engagement documents. And then why have the Conservatives called these new documents irrelevant? And then, as you just saw Mr. Pauly ever say, they want an anti-corruption committee, but could that lead to a snap election? Let's bring in MPs to find out. Omar al Gabra is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister. Conservative ethics critic Michael Barrett joins us, and so does the ethics critic for the NDP, Charlie Angus. Good Monday to all of you. Mr. al Gabra. I'll start with you. Um, the government House Leader, Pablo Rodriguez, said a passage of a motion to create this, quote, anti-corruption committee could raise serious questions about whether the House of Commons has the confidence of the government. Under what circumstances could this be a confidence motion that could trigger an election? I, I don't get it. Uh, look, Evan, any reasonable person who reads the proposed motion by the Conservatives uh, can see how far-reaching, over-the-top, uh, hyper-partisan it is. Uh, we don't dispute the fact that in this context, in the COVID context, in the minority context, that we want to involve opposition uh, members in many of the government spending and investment that's taking place under these extraordinary circumstances. So we put in return a proposal for a committee that invites opposition members to examine um, uh, 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 government spending, including, by the way, the Canada Student Grant, uh, to study the redaction, to invite officials. Uh, unfortunately, though, the language and the content of the conservative motion is extremely hyperpartisan and over the top, that it leaves, uh, you know, I think they're implicit within it is, is a question of confidence within the government. But, but to, sir, to be fair, uh, partisanship doesn't mean a confidence vote. It's not a matter of supply. It's not a matter of money. Like, again, I'm just trying to figure this out. You, of course yeah, it's no. partisanship. You're different parties. Why, is it a, why would the Liberals threaten a, an election over a committee that you don't like? Uh, no, uh, Evan, if you notice, I use the term hyper-partisan. Partisanship can be a healthy thing in our de democracy. Oh, oh, but okay. hyper-partisanship, where it goes after personal and uh, Canadian citizens that have nothing to do with politics or with government, that puts in contempt public officials that haven't had a chance to come and uh, explain to members of parliament what redactions took place and why they took place. Implicit right. within it, a condemnation of the government and accusation of corruption. So it's like already reaching conclusion before even doing uh, exa further examination. Okay, okay. So, I, l Let yeah, me go whatever. to Mr. Bear. I, I'm not sure what constitutional reading hyper-partisanship could be a confidence motion. I've never seen that. But Mr. Barrett, uh, why do you... I mean... Please just answer from on the substance. Mr. Al Gabras, the Liberals have offered a committee to investigate the student grant. Um, why does it need to be this anti corruption issue? And do you think it rises to the level of a confidence motion? Well, no, it's, uh, it's very interesting that the Liberals think the answer to partisanship is to have a, uh, an election and to have an election during a pandemic. And the reason they, they want to have an election is because the opposition wants to look at corruption in the government. And there must be something pretty explosive in the documents that they haven't released uh, if they're willing to uh, to take the walk over to the governor general's place and and plunge us into uh, an election. So, you know, these these documents that were But is it overreach on the conservative? But is it look, the ethics commissioner is oh. investigating, the ethics commissioner has cleared Sophie Gregoire Trudeau like is it overreach or are you just trying to score a partisan point by calling it an anti-corruption panel? The, the ethics commissioner did not clear the wife of the prime minister to receive funds from an organization that the prime minister was going to award a half a billion dollar contract to a sole source agreement. And so that couldn't have been foreseen in that advice. And, and this organization paid members of the Trudeau family half a million dollars and then put those pictures of the Trudeau family in their presentation to cabinet. And, and so there's very much a link between these individuals and the awarding of this grant. And so the details are important. The documents that were released today 
show that we, we have inconsistencies. The number of speaking engagements, the amounts that were paid don't match the testimony given by the Trudeaus, don't match the officials, they don't match the WE organization. So we're getting new information. And the only reason we got that information is because of the pressure of the opposition. And we're going to continue to put the pressure on, on the government. That's our job. Right. And the government, certainly, we don't expect them to like that we're going to look in, in places that are uncomfortable for them. But that doesn't mean that we're going to stop. Right. I, I guess, and I'll put it to Mr. Angus, if it's working, if you're getting the undertakings were released today, if the pressure's working from committees, first of all, why would you need another committee if the existing committees are actually working, as Mr. Barrett just said? But did you learn anything new from the WE documents today or Mr. Trudeau's documents about his speaking engagements that merit further investigation? Well, Evan, um, you know, this is certainly going to rank as the dumbest political scandal in history. The fact that the Liberals figured they could sign a deal for 500000 to almost a billion dollars to a group that was so closely tied to the Trudeau family and <laughs> nobody would notice. I think the only thing dumber than the scandal is the government's response. Uh, we've been trying to work with them. We suggested a special committee because they were complaining that all the other committees were being taken up trying to get answers. So now they want to set up a committee that is basically going to be run and, and driven by liberals. Well, if they want to set up another committee that they basically can uh, shut down the work of, then I'll stay focused at ethics because we have answers that we have to get. Um, we have reached out to them and said, if you want to keep Margaret and, and Alexandre Trudeau out of this, I don't care. That's to me is inconsequential. We know they got paid. We know money was paid to the Trudeau family. My focus now is the uh, the issues of potentially illegal lobbying, the, the connections with senior ministers that we've already gotten from the documents. And what we found today was that the prime minister told the Canadian people when he ran for leader that he had only done something like 26 speaking engagements. We now learn it was close to 130 speaking engagements. And he was getting paid big bucks while being a member of parliament. So the prime minister has damaged himself in this. He's not been credible. Uh, so I'm saying to the liberals, back, just back off a little bit. You're sounding a little over the top. Nobody is going to accept right. a government that's but willing to plunge us into an election in the middle of a the biggest medical crisis in a century. Come on. So let's just get back uh, just, to the just, I, I, get this work done. Uh, just, just on the on Mr. Trudeau's speaking engagements, MPs are allowed to work. Uh, is there any, did he break any rule by doing that? Well, yeah, come on, Evan. Like the guy was, the prime minister was the youth critic for the Liberal Party and he charged school groups to speak to them. I'm sorry. Uh, I find that deeply offensive. I always found that offensive. But at the time, it wasn't considered an ethical issue according to the ethics commissioner at the time. Uh, but I think it does raise questions if he wasn't truthful about how much money he was getting paid so, as a member of parliament to do what, what I do and what my other colleagues do for free. I will go to speak at schools, never charge money. I will speak at public events as a member of parliament, never charging money because it's it's just not right. It's it's kind of just... So I let's know, ask Mr. Al Gabra. I mean, I'm not sure if it's... if. It's illegal for what he's done, but the optics, as Charlie Angus has pointed out, may not look good for the prime minister. What's his response? Why wasn't he not more forthcoming about that, Mr. Algabra? Evan, I mean, this is silly. We started from the question that uh, the decision to work with we was politically motivated. Now it that was. we've looked looked at every evidence and every testimony and every document and we couldn't find a shred of evidence. Now we're talking about what the prime minister actually declared eight years ago uh, when he in, oh, but declared... But Mr. Al-Gabber, to be fair, he released... Case. The prime minister's office released these documents himself. It, it's eight. on the agenda because he released them. Yeah. That's right. I know. I, but it's it's what he released eight years ago when when uh, no public disclosure was required. He took the initiative eight years ago to uh, to declare it. I, he had worked with the ethics false. commissioners uh, 10 false. years ago about this. This is this was nothing unethical, nothing questionable about it. The prime minister is just being transparent and showing Canadians oh, no. what other sources of income that uh, he made. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll let Mr. Barrett yeah. jump in. Just for time, you're, I just want to make sure I can hear you, Mr. Barrett. You're saying that's not true. Go ahead, sir. Well, well, look, uh, if this is the prime minister's first demonstration of transparency, it is his first demonstration of it. The documents that were redacted were done illegally. Uh, they've, they've withheld all kinds of information. And it is of no surprise to anyone that the information that the prime minister gave at that time is completely different from that the facts. 
Yep. And and so and so we have the prime minister at the time making big bucks off of his position, and now the question is, his family was making big bucks off of his position, and how did the Kielbergers get the access that they did to be the only player in the game for a half a billion dollar contract? Right. We don't have those questions, and a government chaired committee is certainly okay. not going to be one to get it. We've seen we've seen what that looks like at the finance committee when they shut it down uh, at their whim, guys. I, I'm going to about shut it down, but just to be fair, I want Mr. Algaber to get a shot to, to quickly respond to that, what sir, real quick. Me? Look, uh, Evan, uh, we <laughs> are in the, in the middle of a pandemic. We are in the middle of economic crisis. We have a lot and of government initiatives to support Canadians, to support election. businesses. Uh, we, the, the, the opposition just voted unanimously in support of our government's initiatives to support okay. Canadians. Let's right. focus so on that. If, if, so if, if the yeah, opposition why have an election? Okay, hold, hold on, now, guys. I gotta, be fair. I gotta be fair, Mr. Finish. Angus gets a, lot, a shot. If I don't give Charlie one guitar lick here, I'm gonna hear about it. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, Charlie the Angus. Well then, yeah, we are working together. So why is this threat of an election rather than right. answer questions? Let our committee do our work. And if we get to do our work, we'll get answers for the Canadian people. That's what this issue is about. Are invited, we, are, we are recommending right, guys, the invitation I, I, I gotta of leave it there. to yeah. come well, It's been a rough testify. season on moderators here. Uh, Omar yeah. Al-Gavrit, Charlie Angus, and Michael Baird. Guys, I will have you back. Uh, I, I always appreciate it.